Hello everyone, it's Daniel here, and I'm finally back with another video for you all. I hope you had a great semester and are enjoying your winter break. In today's highly requested video, we'll be discussing ways to cheat on your online proctored exams, specifically using Respondus Lockdown Browser. I've done extensive research to bring you these simple methods that can help you navigate around Respondus Lockdown Browser. While there are more complex techniques out there, I've chosen to focus on approaches that are practical and accessible to most college and high school students. If you're new here, I specialize in creating content about exam strategies and online proctored exams. I have an entire playlist dedicated to cheating methods, so be sure to check it out. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot to me, and it lets me know that you want to see more content like this. Method number one, the Alt plus tab technique. Let's start with a technique called the Alt plus tab method. Contrary to popular belief, you can actually navigate away from Respondus Lockdown Browser. By using the Alt plus tab key combination, you can switch between windows and access information you need during the exam. You can search for answers on Google or open documents with saved notes. Additionally, you can paste answers into the free response sections. Just remember not to stay away from the browser for too long to avoid suspicion. To use this method, simply hold the Alt key and tap the Tab key to switch between windows. You can spam both the left and right Alt keys to ensure smooth navigation. This technique offers freedom and flexibility during your exam. Method number two, using an external device. Another simple method involves using an external device, such as your mobile phone. Place your phone just below your computer screen and connect it using an OTG connector. Then, connect an external mouse, preferably a Bluetooth mouse, to your phone. This allows you to browse your smartphone discreetly while it appears that you're focused on the exam. It's an effective way to access additional information or resources without raising suspicion. Remember to turn on your 4G mobile data and disable Wi-Fi during the exam to prevent any potential tracking. While it's unlikely that your IP address can be tracked, it's better to err on the side of caution. Method number 3 desktops.exe for Windows. Now let's explore a method specifically for Windows users called desktops.exe. This program helps you divide your desktop into four virtual desktops, allowing you to run different applications simultaneously. By assigning hotkeys, you can easily switch between virtual desktops, making it convenient to access additional resources without exiting the lockdown browser. Desktops.exe is built into most Windows laptops, but you can download it if necessary. This method is especially useful for multitasking and can provide an effective way to cheat while appearing focused on your exam. Method number 4, Invisible Cheat Sheet. The next technique involves creating an invisible cheat sheet. Grab a normal piece of paper and cut it in half. Write down your notes using a small font size. Then, place the cheat sheet just above your keyboard, in the blind spot that the webcam cannot pick up. You can also print out the cheat sheet and cut it in half, ensuring the words are located in the bottom left corner. This method can be quite helpful, but remember to use it responsibly. Method number 5. Disguising your phone. Similar to the previous technique, make sure to hide your phone before the 360-degree room scan. Place your phone close to you and use a black or white case that matches your desk's color. This helps conceal your phone during the scan. Having your phone nearby allows you to access additional information discreetly during the exam. Method number 6. Dimming the lights and using glare. Just before starting the exam, Dim the lights in your room. Adjust your screen brightness to the maximum level. If you wear glasses, position your screen to create glare on the glasses. This technique can make it harder for the AI software to detect your eyes and observe suspicious activity. 
Method number 7, using mobile data instead of Wi-Fi. Turn off your Wi-Fi and switch to your mobile data network before the exam begins. This prevents the AI software from tracking your secondary device via IP address. The mobile data network operates separately from Wi-Fi, ensuring your phone remains undetected. And that concludes our video on how to cheat using Respondus Lockdown Browser. I hope you found these methods helpful. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more exam-related content, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions. I appreciate your support.